Hi, welcome to Acoustic Showcase. I'm Maxine Dunn. As you know, we had our first show a little, not too long ago, um, and we had Terry Clark here with us at the studio, and he sang a couple of really important pieces that he wrote um, that were really inspiring to society and young people all around and told a little bit about his life. So here he is again, Tar uh, Terry Clark. Welcome back. Well, welcome. Oh, thank you for having me again. <laughs> I got to say it was a blast that last time. It was a yeah, blast. Thank totally. You. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you're a very down-to-earth person and, yeah. you know, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you for sure, um, you know, down here at Cheshire TV. Um, so, what are we going to be talking about today, Terry? Um, did you perform for us a little while ago? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think today they're going to do some of my uh, oh, is that... fat cat days. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're going to perform that today? Yeah, I think, I, okay. think, I think the ones they have today for me are, uh, are my... Uh, it was a blues band that I was in in the late 90s uh, up through uh, 2004 or 5, something like that. Um, had a great time. Um, Number of very old friends, uh, we got together and uh, and uh, we we just went wild for about five years. We actually uh, we actually uh, uh, cut a record, and uh, hmm. it was it was played on uh, WKVT on the Blues Cadillac when it first came on. You know, uh, Fish uh, uh, had that. On, I think it was on Saturday nights then. I'm not sure. I think it's on Friday nights now. Um, that was a that was a real blast, you know. Uh, I got to play with some very accomplished uh, musicians, um, and um, I wish we could play that music, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, today. Um, this right here is sort of unplugged, so you'll forgive. Uh, I'm not quite the guitar player that say uh, Kevin Labrie or uh, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> or Bill Bulky are. So, um, in any case, uh, it, it's, uh, it's 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 uh, it's it's going to be an interesting to see. I haven't seen how it came out actually, so I, I think it'd be interesting to see it. So you're saying that you performed on this radio station? Was it a radio station that also w had? Yeah, WKVT uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 broadcast some of the songs on, uh, from our CD that that we that we had made. Mm. Um, and, and it was uh, a CD. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. when was that? Uh, 2002. Uh, yeah, I guess it's 12 years ago. Yeah, Phew, getting old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it, Music it was keeps fun. you young, yeah. though. And through that, uh, uh, we were able to um, send send a copy of that to ASCAP, which is a, uh, one of the one of the major um, uh, organizations that uh, that regulates how musicians get paid. And uh, they're going through a lot of trouble right now, figuring out on uh, you know because of uh, digital music. Uh, and people downloading music for free. How does a musician mm. get paid for their work? Nowadays. Uh, nowadays. Um, but back then, it was just the beginning of, of that kind of thing. But uh, but we we do have that music copywritten now, so it's ours, and um, we'll uh, we'll just see how it comes out. Mm. You know, maybe we maybe we'll just scrub it and not run this one. But I'll I'll, I'll let you know after I listen. <laughs> so is is what you're performing today? So you were talking about um, what's your the name of your band or the name of your song? Well, the band. The band was named Fat Cat. And you, was, you performed it, with them 12 years ago? Yeah, that was Are it. you still performing today at all with them? No. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, yeah, this summer we did have a reunion uh, at, at an open mic over at uh, Yankee Lanes, which was Wonderful. a blast. We hadn't, uh, we hadn't played together for years, uh, and uh, it, I thought it came out pretty well, you know. Uh, we do have that. It was about 20 minutes. and. That's on YouTube. If anyone wants to listen to it, it's, it was it was really fun. We were able to get right back together, and without practicing at all, we clicked. It was it was it was really incredible. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, um, do we want to listen to a song? Um, do you want to perform right now for I, us? I don't have my guitar with me. Oh, you don't. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, so let's do a clip, anyways. This is called Worker's Beer. The man who waters the worker's beer. Oh, that guy. That guy. Yeah. 
I am the man, the lordy mama, who waters your workers' beer. But I reaches my head for that water tub, and I water the workers' beer. I want a car, a boat, and a paraplane. I go to Europe most every year. Every year, well, I just reach my hand for that water job, and I water so with this beer. Oh, hey there, ladies, with your beef fair made away. I'm talking to you, there, ladies, yeah, with you beef fair made away. Better keep a firm grip on your big strong man and you keep him from the ambitious life. Because the price of sugar is shockingly high now, all the shockingly dear. There ain't the profit there used to be. You want to work this beer, Lord, 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 I am a man, yeah. Who want us to work this beer? Oh, no, what should I care if it makes him ill, if it makes him all so terribly queer? Thirsty, tired, and hot. Mm, drop a good beer is good for a man. When he's thirsty, tired, and hot. Can't mind you, I have a drop for myself, but from a very, very special lot. Because of that nasty working class, is the thing I most fear. I reach just my hand for that water tap, baby. A water's a worker's deal, Lord, Lord. If it makes him ill, if it makes him all so terribly queer. Welcome back to the Acoustic Showcase. I'm Maxine Dunn, and this is Terry Clark. Um, that was called... That's the man who waters the worker's beer. Ooh, yeah, yeah. that was a very saucy yeah. piece, I'd have to yeah, say so, yeah. Mr. Terry Clark. Yeah. Well, I got the inspiration for that. Uh, I, was, I was reading some, some poetry uh, from around the turn of the century, and there was, uh, in, in Ireland, uh, in, around 1910 or so, uh, there, 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 there was this big uprising among the coal miners. Hmm. And uh, one of the leaders, uh, Paddy O'Ryan was his name, and uh, he started writing uh, about some of the injustices about uh, the rich and the poor. And, you know, ironically, uh, I, I, I penned this one about uh, in 1981. But ironically, today, the same... That was happening in the, 1981. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. no, that, that was happening around the turn of the, the, of the 20th century, about 1910 in, mm -hmm. in, in Ireland. Mm. Um, but ironically now... In 2014, we're, we're seeing the same kind of rich-poor disparity and about uh, labor, um, you know, getting really taken advantage of uh, by corporations, just like it was back then. So after a hundred years, we, we sort of went through a little transition, but now we're coming right back. And uh, uh, hopefully people will listen to this and... Uh, uh, you know, start to realize that, you know, maybe it's time to do the same things that uh, Patty O'Ryan did in 1910, you know. Which was? Well, he caused a, he caused a big scene, uh, 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 not riots, but uh, an a uprising. A ruckus. A ruckus, yeah. And to it was really spread the, awareness. It was the beginning of, of the labor union uh, uh, movement in, in Ireland, which, which also, of course, spread to the United States and uh, most other places in the world. And uh, you know, out of that movement came a lot of a lot of things like the. So it brought the Irish to um, the United States. No, 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 no. This was. Nineteen uh, ten. No, no, no. This was in Ireland. They were they were they were Irish coal miners. Mm, right. Who were spending you know sixty, seventy, eighty hours a week underground and uh, you know in in, in despicable conditions, mm. and uh, they were getting paid hardly anything. But the same right. thing was happening here. Uh, Just like maybe in, in China right now? And same thing's happening in China right now. Yeah, yeah. But in any case, that was, uh, that was my, my displeasure uh, with, uh, with the corporate class. And it was a little, it's a little sarcastic 
Um, I, I sort of play the, you know, I, I'm the man who waters the worker's beer, and mm. you know, that's what you do, you know, you uh, uh, sort of give them a little beer, but you make sure that the, the stuff you give them is watered down, you know, but uh, you've got to be careful because uh, it's getting expensive to, uh, to even water the worker's beer. So uh, it's sort of a sarcastic kind of uh, uh, rebellious uh, ditty that... Uh, and when did you write this song? 1981. When you were, and how young were you? I uh, was well, not going to that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> people are too well. People are too good at math these days. Right. <laughs> we'll say. I was 22. in my. I was in my we'll late twenties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in any case, uh, and and we performed that. That was a song that uh, uh, I performed with uh, Fat Cat, and um, it was a much better song with all of the. Uh, with all of the other guitars and drums and bass and, and such like that, but uh, it didn't come out too bad, I guess, uh, as an unplugged. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are going to run this clip um, right now of this performance, and um, I'm so excited to hear it because I'm Irish. <laughs> this is going to be really, really good. This is actually, I think, the first song I ever wrote called Walk in the Rain. When you wonder what's for the hill, do we think it's better still? Get it down, baby. All you're seeing is the rain. We'll take a hold of my hand and I'll walk you through the storybook land where the people have made a styrofoam and I'll show you the jungle that they call home. Get it down, baby, and take a walk out in the rain. And if you're not satisfied, then go on and see for yourself. Roam around the wild. Your smile, come home. Then you know it's true with all the things that I'm saying to you, where you see it on your own. Cause I never get another chance to know what is really home. Get it on down, baby. Take a walk out in. From everywhere, oh yes I will And you can come and live with me Through eternity, oh yeah I hope you will And if you're not satisfied Then go on and see for yourself Roam around a while Till you wear out your smile, come home Terry Clark, that was absolutely beautiful. That was called. Thank you. You're welcome. That was called "Walk in the Rain." Yes, that was my very first song. As a matter of fact, yeah. That was your first song. Yeah, very first song that I ever wrote. Yeah. That he ever wrote. Wow, yeah. that yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. That's amazing. I, uh, and it, I, I didn't pick it back up again until, oh, geez, probably five or six years ago. I'd wow. forgotten all about it. Mm. And uh, I just decided, well, one day, hey, well, this, I'm tired of playing the same old songs. So, uh, let's see. Let's see what I got in my backpack here. You know, so it was it was kind of nice. Yeah. 
It's, um, it was, I, th I imagine, I, th I think it was uh, about a, a high school sweetheart um, who, uh, who was lost in her mind and wasn't quite sure of what was going on and uh, what direction to go into. Mm. So that was my attempt to give her a little advice about life in the wor wild world out there, you know. Terry uh, Clark, I where has he been? I, I hope she where didn't follow. Where has he been all these years? <laughs> hope she didn't follow <laughs> my advice, but I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what is the advice? Uh, well, the advice was that, you know, uh, uh, Walk, take out, take out, you know, don't, don't, don't just settle for what you have here now. You're a young woman. Go out into the world and see things. You know, take a, you know, take a cross-country trip. Uh, go see the world and see what other people are doing and, and experience a little, you know, before you come back and settle down and, and worry about raising a family and all this other mundane kind of things. Go out and have fun. I feel yeah. you there, Terry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I totally did that. It's so ironic. I definitely yeah, so traveled I. across America. So I. I had to do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. great minds think alike. Yeah. And, you know, I had to. I didn't want to be a part of, you know, I, I clashed with society and, you know, I went across country and, you know, what a beautiful message. I can't believe, you know, because, of course, parents don't want you to do that, you know. And here you are, you met this woman, you know, this girl, this young girl, you're both young, you know, you both don't know a lot about the world, and all you know is, like, basically what you've been told. And here you are creating this song for this, like, beautiful soul that you just can tell there's something in that woman that needs to go and explore herself and the world, and don't just settle, don't just settle, don't just be where you are, don't be stuck, don't, don't do what everyone else is doing, don't... I was asking her to come back, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little selfishness there, but... Uh, yeah, but that's because you probably yeah. loved her very much. Yeah, I'm not sure if she came back or not, um, but, you know... To you, yeah. yeah, but she'll probably always be in your heart, and yeah. amazing that this woman is a real person. Yeah, yeah I think her name was Rose. Rose. I think, I think yeah. Mm. I think, yeah. That's my middle name. Is it? Well... About that. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah so. Um, so that was sort of a you know a, a, I don't know if it was a love song or if it was um, I, I don't know how you walk in the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it, you know in, in that last Very exploratory yeah, song. And, yeah, take a walk in the rain and then take our love in out of the rain. Um, you know I don't know I, I don't know why I did that part, but. Anyway, that's, uh, like to, that's where it worked, yeah. Mm. Well, let's, let's hear another song from you, yeah. Terry. I think, I think this next one is, uh, this one's a very, very personal song. It's a very tragic song um, that happened to me personally um, and um, to, um, to a member of my family. And mm. uh, in any case, I, uh, I, uh, took, it, took a, it took a little bit for me to actually uh, agree to let this out in the open. And... Um, let other people hear it because, like I said, I, uh, I, 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 I sort of do this for my own solace and not so much for, you know, for performance for you know other people in any case. But um, this song is called Jackie.
cry for me Don't cry for Jackie Someone tries, make sure that they're good enough to be in his world, and they'll make him happy. And now I cry for Jackie. Jackie, you looked into the future and taught us how to live. That was Jackie, and we're going to listen to one more clip, and then we'll be right back. I guess I'm going to finish it off with this one here. It's not really a... <laughs> kind of a shorty. I don't know. I'm not even sure if it's a... Okay, so that was very beautiful. Um, can you explain a little bit about the song, Terry? Well, the first one, um, Jackie, was my uh, 
my daughter-in-law, uh, my son, my oldest son, uh, had gotten married. And uh, <laughs> they'd no sooner gotten married, and uh, she discovered that uh, she had cancer. And um, it, was, uh, it was a very painful, very painful. She was 31 years old and just very unfair, very unfair. Um, but she showed us, you know, really, it, the, the song, it's it, 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 it just, she came out very strong. She came out, uh, you know, not worried about herself. She was like taking care of us, mm. you know, telling us how to, how to react to this, how to, you know, how to deal with this. And um, it, it's unfortunately something, this thing called cancer, we have to do something about it. It's, it's devastating, it's unfair, um, and it just creeps into our lives without notice and devastates us. And I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, someday somebody will be able to do something about it, and relieve the suffering, etc. Now, the, the, the song that we just heard, uh, I just threw that together, I guess, about three or four months ago. We were having a discussion in the city about um, homeless people and um, I just couldn't help but by listening to some, some of the people that they just didn't seem to care. They had no sympathy whatsoever about homeless people. Uh, they were almost like blaming them, uh, you know, that, that, that this is their fault that they're homeless. Maybe some of them are, you know. They, in my mind, they forget about uh, substance abuse. They forget about depression. They forget about mental illness. And uh, it was just my way of saying, you know, we're just burying our head in the sand, and we're we're not we're, we're just we're just ignoring them. We're just pr trying to pretend that this problem doesn't exist. And uh, as with all all problems and the rebel that I am, I just like to tell people that hey, there is a problem out there. Hey, the king has no clothes. Let's pay attention to this. Let's talk about it. Let's uh, it's right in front of us, but it's invisible. Let's bring it out and let's talk about it. So um, that's what this was all about. Hopefully, I haven't offended anybody, but. Well, I really don't care about that anyway, so. No, we don't care if we offend anybody. <laughs> <laughs> In any case. Yeah, well, it's really been, been fun being here um, and giving me an opportunity to showcase some of this stuff. Uh, it's a little weird, because uh, like I said, I, I, I'm a very solitary person. I don't generally like to throw it out there and what have you, but um, hopefully some you know people will enjoy it. And uh, well, if they don't, you know, it's a beautiful thing about television. You can just turn it off. Okay. And we're going to wrap this up right now. Um, and thank you so much, Terry, for coming on. Um, your music is absolutely amazing. It definitely is really powerful and is definitely showing a lot. Um, and thank you so much. Just come back whenever you can.